Tracy, what did we do? I think we just signed ourselves up for one of the hardest marathons in the world. <laughs> and let's face it, we did not train for this, but apparently it's a beautiful marathon, a beautiful run. Yeah. We're here to do our best. And have time, some fun. Time to go register. Yeah. Extremely hard. Initial thoughts? Um, it seems to be really well organized. Everything is flowing very easily and extremely good security as well. We even get shirts. So we're checked in. We've got our little goodie bag, t-shirt, hat and everything. Now we gotta go find our campsite because yes, before a major marathon, we decided to camp. That was probably not the best idea, but this is what we're doing. Time to get our stuff out and start pitching our tent. Now these favorite parts, just have to pump up our uh, mattress with this annoying pump. But today I have a much better solution thanks to our friends at Flextail and their tiny Pump 2X. Flextail focuses on ultralight appliances for camping and just let me show you how this tiny pump is so powerful. You just easily plug it into your mattress and it can blow up to 180 liters per minute and it can blow for up to 15 minutes which trust me it's not gonna take that long. This only took about like three minutes to do, so we are never using the big bulky pump ever again. Time to set the bed. So that pump is really going to be a game changer for us camping. Um, not only does it like pump up your mattress and it can take the air out, so deflate your mattress, but it's also a camping light, so a lantern. Um, and it comes with a little attachment that we're going to try out tonight and have a little ambiance lighting inside of the tent. So if you want to make your life easier camping, because let's be honest, we all want to know camping hacks. Um, then check it out down below. We even have a code that you can save 15% off. So we'll put that on the screen for you. And yeah, have fun camping without the little nitty gritty things that you always end up fighting about. Don't listen to her, we never fight. <laughs> Well guys, cheers to a job well done. Now um, we're gonna go check out that Safari Come village. There's some food, there's a lot of things there. We didn't bring any food because we were told there's food. So I heard there's a burrito shop or something and I love burritos, so let's check it out. So there are two areas for self-catering. Uh, we're currently in self-catering B, but on top of that, there's even catered mobile camps there as well. Um, so we have a friend there. But for now, we're gonna go up to like the main, they call it the Safari Calm Village. I hear music playing. I see a burrito stand being set up. You're popular. Um, that's our friend right now. <laughs> Gotta go. Shouldn't need any of those ambulances, but it's good to know that they're there, just in case. Question, what time are you guys opening? Uh, in the next hour. In the next hour, yeah, so around, around seven. seven? Yeah, around seven, seven. Five. Perfect. Uh -huh. So in the meantime, we have to get a security brief because, well, tomorrow we're going to be running inside of Lewa Conservancy amongst lions, rhinos, and a bunch of other wildlife. So they're going to tell us what to do and not to do. When that's going to be lit, it's going to be lit. This is the biggest campfire I've ever seen. We've just been having a discussion about someone who saw some lion on their way over here. But don't worry, we've got it all, all sorted. They are not as hungry as they were last year. Well, that's good to know. Now it's true, guys. We're gonna go eat burritos. Are you pumped, Chase? I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Okay, to be very honest with you, the Safari Village is much smaller than I thought. Apparently, there's a couple coffee shops there, but like the main event is truly the burrito place. It's called Barra. And it better be good, because there's literally no other options. It's burrito, can't be bad. We get the goods, two massive chicken burritos, and even beef quesadillas with guac. 
burrito taste test. Whoa, got, oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. We got chicken with medium spice. Because we weren't sure. Like, is spicy super spicy? Just a little spicy? Okay. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm a fan. It's a very nice burrito. Thank you so much. Super good. 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 We'll be back tomorrow. Good luck. <laughs> that was the perfect night before meal yep. for a marathon. Carb but. filled. <laughs> I think we should digest a little bit before we uh, lay down. That's fair. Okay, it was, uh, it was kind of heavy. <laughs> so time for us to go to bed. It's not even 8.30, but like, you know, we got to be fully charged for tomorrow. Tip-top shape. We got this. You stressed? No, it's just very noisy, which we... It's not noisy, noisy. It's just because it's early. So I just hope I can sleep. If I can <laughs> sleep, everything's going to be great. Fair enough. See you guys in the morning, bright and early. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, 6.30, we slept overall pretty good, especially once like people decided to go to bed and it I wasn't as loud. Little, little it's very here. nice, I think. <laughs> so the helicopter is already up. They started to basically clear the pathway we're going to be running, make sure that there's no lion or anything like Binos, that. Yeah. Nothing. Gonna eat a little breakfast. Oof. Get ready for this damn thing. Scared to put food in my belly right now. <laughs> Apparently, I'm number 340. So about the numbers that they give you, something super cool, in the back there is actually a chip and this is how they track your time. So they're like, don't put a pin through the chip. Note it. I'm 385. So I've been battling a knee injury for like pretty much ever since Killy. <laughs> um, and I'm not very smart and I'm still deciding to run on it. But anyways, I found a way to tape it that works. So we're gonna do that. So hopefully I don't die. <laughs> that was very dramatic. That's the point. Okay, so it is 20 after seven. Time to put this camera away because I can't run with this big setup and switch to the action cameras. Um, we're starting in 25 minutes. Let's do this. Walking towards the start of the Everyone is here. There's a lot of people that look very serious. I don't know if we officially started or not, but they just popped something and everyone started to run, but no warnings, no anything, no welcome. I don't know. I think I'm running a half marathon, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not convinced yet. <laughs> so the first few kilometers are probably going to be like this. A lot of people. But then everyone is going to find their pace, find their place. It's going to be better. So we are at 1.5 click. We already see the 2.5 kilometer um, refreshing station, but there's a hill on my right. There's already people past that hill, Wait, meaning that like they're close to probably yeah. four kilometers already. Some people are on safaris and they make it look like we're the wildlife. We're approaching our first refreshing station. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Running and drinking is quite hard. <sighs> I got this. Or not. So approximately 120 meters after every uh, refreshing station, there's those big cage to put like cups and water bottle, but you're also allowed to just throw it on the ground. You just don't have to throw it into the grass. Uh, but as soon as everyone is passed, some cleaning team are coming and picking up everything, keep everything clean. Some people are too serious to like aim for those bin or stop. So from what I can see so far, there's two helicopters and one bush plane airborne, making sure that everyone's safe. It's also rangers every few kilometers with binoculars. Once again, doing the same and it's much appreciated. It's just a beautiful place to run. I like the YouTube channel. Thank you, man. <laughs> Need a lot of you guys here. Always a pleasure. Except for this guy because he's faster than me. Okay, now that we have more space, welcome to the 24th edition of the Lewa Safari Marathon. There's over 1,400 people registered this year in different categories. The fun run, five kilometers, the business or corporate run, 10 kilometers, half marathon, how we're doing 
21.1 and the full marathon, which is the half marathon twice, same path, 42.2 kilometers. Coming in the left, as fast as lightning. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Money, money, money. Because <laughs> it gets really hot in Lewa sometimes. They have a mist station like that. It's pretty nice. <laughs> So we are at seven and a half kilometers, which is basically about one third of a half of a marathon. Still doing good. Tracy is right there. Right? <laughs> We're gonna do it. Can't start walking now. I'm gonna get you. The T Rex, baby. Never seen this kind of uh, wildlife here before. Come on, Tracy. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. We see a knee injury and it's Thank going you. strong. Look at that. Well done, Hannah. <laughs> no matter your pace, these guys are there all day for the first and the last runners with with wet sponges, oranges, little snacks, water, and a heck of a lot of energy. Just as I've had when I hit like the 10 mark, it's my wall. Um I don't do much training over 10, which Again, this is why we said that we're not prepared for this, but it's okay. We're having fun while we're doing it. Okay, guys, we're officially in the second half of our half marathon. As you can tell, you really don't have to be like a super athlete to do this. A lot of people are just walking. It's just fun. Almost 12 kilometers, 11.88 to be very precise. Look at this. This place is epic. Your crew is doing an amazing job because we're over 12 kilometers in right now and I haven't seen pretty much any wildlife. And fun fact, Liwa has one of the largest rhino population in Kenya. And again, zero. And normally every time we come to Lewa, we see many, many of them. Buffaloes and everything. Right now, nothing. Just a bunch of humans running in a circle. <laughs> Just waiting for Tracy. She's coming in hot. Okay, not quite, but she's coming. No water break? Hurting now. Wow, good job, good job, man. Let's go. <laughs> My man! There you go. Great job! We met this guy at the campsite yesterday and we shared our position oh, wow. with him. So every two, three station, he's there for a quick sip of beer. <laughs> Even better than water. Let's go. Water is here. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how fast the elite runner doing the full marathons are, we are just about to hit 15 kilometers and I was just passed by the number one runner. And we've got number two, number 86, going strong. These guys are so fast, it's not even funny. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm almost at 16 kilometers and I just saw my first animal. There's like a buffalo drinking water there. That's it so far. I was looking at my watch as a GPS, but sometimes it's not like the best. I thought I was almost at 16 kilometers, but I just hit a sign that said 14. Huh, it's not that great for the morale. So Tracy is a couple hundreds of meters behind me. I just run, wait for her. But let me just tell you how proud I am for her to be here, no matter her time, whether she's half walking, half running. When I met Tracy a few years back, she was far from being an athlete. I kind of pushed her into like pushing her own limits. So 
Well, she's crushing you. <laughs> Proud of you now. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. These guys just like picking up the bottles side of the path. Can we just appreciate how important that is? They're doing a great job. Thank you to the cleaning crew. <laughs> Go Tracy, go. Go Tracy, go. Go Tracy, go. Let me do right there. That pole is a hanging electric fence. So the elephants don't go in between the two zones. I really appreciate that uh, they removed that for, <laughs> for the run. The elevation is quite something. This is one of the marathons in the world with the most elevation. So because we do have the marathon, you get half of that. And I'm starting to feel it. Okay, it's flat now. We all run, you too. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> oh, you got this. I'm running, but I swear your walk could be faster. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. The camera never shows as steep as it actually is in real life, but trust me, this one is, uh, yeah, we're going down. <laughs> See, you got this, you're crushing it. <laughs> She's so nice. She's one of our subscribers and she actually told me to tell you guys to subscribe. It's not me. It's she, she said that. Yeah. Very thankful for some downhill. I found downhill much worse. Like it's hard on the knees. <laughs> it's like when we went down Killy, like going down was almost worse than going up. You're crushing it. First female marathoner. Damn, she's fast. Is that, is that the second female marathoner? I don't know. It's, it's Tracy. <laughs> Canadian kids show yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on. We're going, we're going. Tracy's goal was to finish the half marathon under three hours. We got about 22 minutes left and something like less than four kilometers, maybe a little bit more than four kilometers. Oh, I see a sign. I see a sign. Actually three kilometers, babe. Let's go. That's about just seven minutes a kilometer. And at the end, the run like that, it's gonna be quite challenging, but you never know. <laughs> Not sure if my mat's good, but this could be the last refreshing station. Little uh, sugar, uh, <laughs> sugar fuel I up. Have, like it sucks because we're so close, but I have nothing left in me. The oranges were giving me life, and I forgot to grab one at the last station because I grabbed a sponge instead. Got a little fruit roll. So <sighs> I don't even like those. 500 meters to go. This sign is my favorite sign so far. That sign just gave me life. Finish sign, let's go. This is my favorite part of the day so far, sitting on that little bench. Oh. I have so much tension in all of my muscles. Oh, yeah. My neck, my back, and my lower back. I don't even know what to do with myself. Whew. So we got some goodie bags. <laughs> hey, this one's pretty thick too, it's nice. So we come with a blanket. We have some chips, a pop, and I stuck them both in here, but they actually gave us an energy drink. But in this house, we only drink monsters. Okay. I just want to lay down. <laughs> Time to stretch a little bit. And as we're doing that, let me tell you a few things. First of all, like I said earlier, you don't need to be an athlete to do this. Um, you know, we walked a little bit. You know, it's totally fine. But there's a bunch of people that are not done yet and that are going to do it in like much longer than like three hours. And the only point is to show up and do it. So 
please do next time because it is a beautiful place to run. On the organization side, 10 out of 10, it was so well organized oh, yeah. with all the water station, the helicopters, the rangers, like all the volunteers did an amazing job. So a big thank you to everyone. And yeah, that's pretty much it for us. You gotta go back, pack up, drive back to Nairobi. And, and yeah, that's it. So, hydrate, you need to hydrate. Yeah, until then, see you guys. In the next one. Next video, not next marathon.